Hey, what's going on everybody? EXO coming at you today, feeling awesome. The weather is shining bright like 80 degrees and I've been using every minute to do awesome projects right here in the garage, including our standing desk, Frankenstein, and a bunch of other stuff that we're gonna be getting into in this video. Oh man, let's first start with a little bit of backstory for those who might not have seen the video, which would be surprising at this point because the damn thing went crazy viral. Do you guys remember when what well, my girlfriend got into a minor little accident in the rear end and we took her car to a repair shop and they ended up having a field day with our sound system, probably cranking that thing up till no tomorrow and blowing her to oblivion? Well, I was really heated and made a video about that. The damn thing went crazy and tons of people started laying into me. Now today, we are finally gonna have a rebate, chuck in a new subwoofer with the old box that's been sitting in here for months. We had to tear out the carpet because they were friggin' d dinged up the carpet somehow in several places. So you can see where I've scraped my razor blade trying to get the adhesive that I sprayed on there. So in the meantime, it's looking like a piece of shit. Before we get going with all the fun stuff, I think it's important to at least explain in the beginning of this video what the hell happened after the fact of that whole fiasco with the repair shop? Did my sound system get fixed? Did I go to court? Lots of people have been having, you know, interest in the whole topic. So here's the bottom line, the bottom line right here. I did not pursue anything. One, because of money. Two, because of time. And three, because of patience. And really, I had no drive to do it because let's face it, over there, there was probably some Jimmy Johnson friggin' crappy employee who the boss always is having trouble with, probably did something right in his own character and is probably fired by now. So I didn't really want to make the video geared towards trashing the establishment. I was just frustrated in my own right for something that happened, but I was just trying to do things the right way with filing a police report for damaged goods. And a lot of people think that the accident incurred the damage, but I was jamming around having fun weeks before the car was even repaired. The sound system was absolutely perfect in primo top condition shape. The sub is sitting right here. You can see the damage that was done to it. It got bottomed out several times here. You can see a little bit of bubbling and warping that happened, and this was a brand new subwoofer. So in this video, we have a rebate. We're coming back full force with a cheapo subwoofer. I found this on, I think I was scrolling through Facebook and people have been typing about this everywhere. The Rockville subs, you've probably seen them, the K9s and some other edition, but I'm really interested about the 12s and the 15s of the K9s. Direct leads, nice big hefty magnets, supposedly. So we're gonna, in this video, be waiting for UPS to come drop it off and it should be here today. We're gonna stuck, stick, stick it. We're gonna stick it in the same box that we had it in with our prior friggin' devastation fiasco and have some fun with a brand new setup for my girlfriend who's been just wanting more bass. So I hope that helps explain. So let's have some fun and do a nice little subwoofer swap. UPS just came through in the clutch. We got my girlfriend's guinea pig food, and of course, our prized possession, another 12 inch sub. Woo! Let's get this thing opened up, baby. I'm really excited to check these out because people have been ranting and rave about them because of how cheap they are. I literally bought these like for a hundred bucks. I'm not even kidding. I got another one coming in the mail, but it didn't ship at the same time. I have a feeling that the price is gonna go up on these a lot. So I wanted to get in while I still had a chance and check out what the hype is all about. You know what I mean? Whoops, sorry guys. There she is. Look at that. Nice stout little subwoofer for the price. Holy crap. Bump back plate, direct leads, cast basket, stitch surrounds, nice heftiness to it. Sweet. Holy crap, this thing seems pretty damn decent. It's got bolted spider pack, sewn in tinsel leads, nice extra pulpy paper cone there. I gotta say, this thing looks pretty promising.
I wouldn't be a man if I didn't want to see her undressed. So let's go ahead and pop this nice booty cover off, which seems to have a nice rubber feel to it. Okay, looks like one inch slugs. Check out that little build. Top and bottom plates chroming out, shining in the reflection. Giving her a press, she feels nice and stiff. The only thing I don't like is this cap. It's a poly cap, but look at it. It kind of has like a little bit of like depression already. It's kind of flimsy, but that's okay. It's just a dust cat. I'm gonna peel up the gasket to see how the glue job is around the seams of the frame. Oh, we got some bubbling out right here. You can see it coming through near where the screw hole would be. So the glue is definitely enough to start oozing which is always a good sign. So, bare bones first impression, it definitely looks the part, but in this game, looks are not everything. How does it perform compared to our last subwoofer? The Hotel series did like 140 decibels on the SSA meter, so we'll never know until we test it and see if the proof is in the pudding. Let's get this thing flexed. So we know that the sub is gonna fit in the existing hole, which is awesome, saves a little bit of work for me. But to also save a little bit of uh, time and effort, we're gonna use this nice little SMD terminal plate. I got this from TDH 2016 from the man himself, so big thanks. I just never got around to even remembering to use it. So today is the day. Just went around to the direct leads and terminated them with some nice ring terminals. That'll go right onto the post that we just put on the box. Right, looking pretty all wired up into the box. Let's flip her around and screw the sub in. Can't forget the amplifier, the damn star of the show. What the, where is it? Oh, right down here. NVX XPLD3K. We got everything wired up, just a nice little temporary setup, nothing crazy fancy with trying to make it look good or anything. We got our second battery all wired up. We're just gonna get some brackets and make sure she doesn't wobble around. But unfortunately, the sun is going down. Oh man. So we may have to resume this video for part two tomorrow. Shot more 
jumpers than that Bill Cosby. So we were just chucking in about 600 plus watts onto the Rockville. So now we're gonna crank the volume a little bit more so we can get closer to the 1,000 uh, watts mark. And I know the subwoofer is upside down. I didn't even realize it until we put it in the car, but I seriously don't even care. So let's keep a, uh, an eye out on the numbers here and let's give this a crank on the volume. I shot more jumpers than that Bill Cosby. Hell yeah, handling that like a champion. We are roughly around 1500 watts on that run right there with the same song we were playing. She is a little bit warm and the cap is loosening up a little bit, not the, the glue around it, but the, the actual little depression factor that we had in the beginning. It's a little bit more flimsy, but I gotta say, that's taking the power like a champ. All right, that's enough fun playing a quick little song there. Let's go ahead and hop in front, close up all the doors, and stick the meter on the dash, which we already got uh, uh, one step ahead here, and do some metering and see how loud this subwoofer can get. All right, here we go. We got the volume all cranked up all the way. We got the Bluetooth adapter. Cue up some 40 hertz. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta turn the bass knob up. Ready? One, two, three. Nice! There we go, 140.6. That is awesome, guys. For a freaking cheapo Spico, damn. And you know what, I'm anxious to know what this is doing for wattage on our burp test. So I think we're gonna redo that, have the meter in the same spot up here on the dash, and we'll go ahead and test the power output coming into the sub. All right, let's close this door up, make sure all of our pressure stays nice and contained. Go to our multimeter here and go to AC volts, and we have our clamp meter on the speaker outputs on top of the amplifier. volts and this thing was moving quite some bit let's go back there and check our amperage so we were pulling 25.53 amps with a quick little mathematics here I'll pop it up on the screen there we go and look at this we're still popping off with a 140.2 even after all this little bit of stress we also got to remember that this is not an SPL setup at all it was not designed to get crazy loud numbers at a given frequency we really wanted this box to sound good across the music spectrum for my girlfriend she listens to all sorts of different types of music so it was very important that it sounded good across a, a bunch of different notes and not really loud on one particular one so obviously there's some things that we could have done like upgraded our alternator we have a stock alternator stock head unit and no box positioning tweaks at all it's crazy how much you can gain just by angling the positioning of your port so I'll go ahead and take the meter down for today I am damn happy with the results of this what a hundred and a hundred and five hundred and ten dollar subwoofer you really can't beat it guys and I have to say this just because I already can hear people saying it I am not paid to make these videos I am a bass head just like you and I love picking up cheap stuff I love stuff that pounds for a good price so this is just a, a good suggestion for you guys you know get loud on a budget it's definitely possible so until the next video this is EXO signing out <laughs>